Greetings, students. Again, this is Mom Jeng, and welcome to our week two topic. And we're going to discuss arithmetic sequence. And for today's milk, our most essential learning competency after going through this lesson, you are expected to first illustrate an arithmetic sequence and determine arithmetic means and the nth term of an arithmetic sequence. Again, to warm you up, yeah, let us have this activity. What's next? So you have to screenshot again this part and send it to me so that you'll have additional point or bonus point for this week. Yeah. What's next? Ano daw yung kasunod na figure or number? Okay, screenshot. Let us now proceed. Do you still remember our first activity last week? Our Ipon Challenge. So, balikan muna natin siya. Yan. This scenario, you are planning to buy a new pair of socks that cost 150 pesos. And your saving pattern will be this one. On the first week, you, have, uh, you are going to save 10 pesos. The second week is you have to save 20. The third is 30, 40, and so on and so forth. So, ilalagay ko na dito na 40 and 50 yung kasunod. Ay, sorry, 40. <laughs> 50. So, anong sequence yung nabuo natin? We have 10, 20, 30, 40, and 50. Ma'am, paano po siya naging sequence? Note that sequence is a list of number with specific pattern or arrange, ah, order and arrangement. Pag sinabing specific order or arrangement, si 20 hindi pwedeng mapunta dito, si 30 hindi pwedeng mapunta dito, or exactly hindi siya pwedeng magkagulo-gulo kasi mawawala na yung pattern mo nung pagsisave. Kasi nga sabi mo, ay first week, ikaw ay 10, and then 20, and then 30. So meron siyang specific order, and this is the first term. The second term, the third term, the fourth term, and the fifth term. Now, observe our sequence. Paano naduduktungan yung bawat term? Ano bang kasunod dapat ni 50? Yes, 60. And how did you get 60? Very good. Nag-add lang tayo ng 10. Ayan. So, yun yung pattern natin. Ano? Plus 10 lang tayo ng plus 10 doon sa bawat term. And that is what we're going to discuss in this particular video. What kind of sequence is that? Okay. That sequence is called arithmetic sequence. Why? So let us define what is an arithmetic sequence. It is a sequence that is formed by adding the same number from the previous term. Kung matatandaan ninyo yung ating sequence kanina sa ipon challenge, we have 10, 20, 30, 40, and 50. Nadadagdagan yung bawat term ng, yes, plus 10 lang tayo ng plus 10 sa lahat ng terms. So, that is adding the same number. And we call that same number as the common difference. So, in this particular sequence sa ating ipon challenge kanina, our common difference is 10. Another example, suppose we have this sequence, 3, 7, 11, 15, 19. Paano naging 7 si 3? Yes, plus 4. 7, paano naging 11? Plus 4. Also this one, plus 4. Plus 4. Therefore, Yan, 4 is the common difference. Yan, yun lang si arithmetic sequence. Ano, basta nag add ka ng same number sa bawat term, we call that as an arithmetic sequence. Let us do this activity. Let us determine whether the following sequences is an arithmetic or not. 
If it is an arithmetic, let us identify the common difference. By the way, class, common difference is denoted as D. Ano, common difference. Okay, let's have the first one. 3, 6, 9, 12, 15. OMG, mom. Very basic. <laughs> yes, it is an arithmetic sequence. And what is our common difference? 3. Very good. Kasi, okay, plus 3 ng plus 3. Ano, plus 3, plus 3, and so on and so forth. Next. 5, negative 6, negative 17, negative 28. Mom, why naman may negative? Ganon din yung class. Tingnan niya lang mabuti. This is an arithmetic sequence and our common difference is, yes, negative 11. Okay? Next. 8, 12, 16, 20. Yes, obviously. And our common difference is 4. Kasi plus 4 ng plus 4. Next. Negative 6, 3, 12, 21. Okay, this is an arithmetic sequence and our common difference is positive 9. Next, last one. 4, 16, 24, 256. Okay, this is not an arithmetic sequence. Ano bang nangyayari dito sa sequence na ito? Imbis na plus 4, yes, times 4 ng times 4. So, definitely hindi ito arithmetic sequence dahil sabi natin, ang arithmetic sequence ay adding the same number in each term. Ano? Kahit pa pare-parehas yung ating ginagamit na number, hindi naman addition yung ating operation. Kaya, hindi siya arithmetic sequence. And in the next lesson, malalaman natin ano bang tawag sa sequence na ito. Okay. Now, we have the nth term of an arithmetic sequence. So, babalikan lang natin. Uh, example lang din ito ay yung ating given rule ano, dun sa ating previous lesson. Our nth term for an arithmetic sequence is given by a sub n is equal to a sub 1 plus n minus 1 times d. Wherein a sub n is our nth term, a sub 1 is the first term, n is the number of terms, and d is the common difference. How are we going to use this uh, formula? So, ganito siya. Let us determine the tenth term of the sequence 4, 6, 8, 10. According to this formula, yan, a n is equal to a1 plus n minus 1 D. Ang hinahanap natin ay yung ika-10. So, lahat ng n, papalitan natin ng 10. We have a sub 10 is equal to a1. Ano ba yung ating first term? Yes, 4. 4 plus n, 10 minus 1. What is the common difference? Ano yung iniaad natin sa bawat sequence? Okay, 2. We have 4. Plus 10 minus 1 is 9 times 2. 4 plus 9 times 2, 18. And 4 plus 18 is 22. That means our 10th term or a sub 10 is equal to 22. Kung man ibig sabihin nun? Yung ikasampung term daw ay 22. So kung idederecho natin yan, we have 10... 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22. Ayan yung ikasampo. 22. Okay? So, imbis na ikaw ay maglista ng pagkahaba-haba, eh, you are going to use this uh, nth term for an arithmetic sequence. Alam, ano? Kasi what if ang itanong na sa'yo ay masyado ng malayo na term. Ano? Hindi na kaya ng powers ng ating paglilista. So, mas madali na gumamit ka na lang ng ating formula for the nth term. Next, find the general formula for a n of the given arithmetic sequence and find its 15th term. So, tayo naman ang magbibigay ng formula or ng rule. Sige, let's have this one. 
Remember, our formula for the nth term is a n is equal to a sub 1 plus n minus 1 d. a n is equal to a 1, first term, 3. So, ito yun, ano, first term, plus n minus 1. What is our common difference? Yes, 4. Kasi plus 4 ng plus 4, ano? Okay, 3. Distribute natin si 4. We have 4n kasi 4 times n is 4n. And 4 times negative 1 is negative 4. We have 4n. 3 minus 4 is negative 1. So our rule or the formula for nth term is 4n plus 1. Now, there is another question and we are asked to find for the 15th term. Hanapin daw natin yung ika-15. So, lahat ng n, papalitan natin ng 15. We have 4 times 15 minus 1. 4 times 15, 60 minus 1, 59. Okay. So, ang ika-15 na term is 59. Okay, so that is an arithmetic sequence for uh, the nth term for an arithmetic sequence. So, ganun lang siya ginagamit. Ano? Pag hinanap ang rule, ganito ang gagawin. Kapag hinanap yung nth term, yan, papalitan lang yung n. Okay? Now, let us have arithmetic means. Arithmetic means, mean, <laughs> means that, or these are terms between any two non-consecutive terms in an arithmetic sequence. So, ito yung mga terms sa gitna or sa pagitan ng dalawang term na hindi magkasunod. For example, in this particular sequence, 3, 7, 11, 15, 19. Ayan. Si 3, ay si 7, 11, 15 ay arithmetic means between 3 and 19. O kaya naman, si 3 ay si 7 at 11 ay arithmetic means sa pagitan ni 3 at saka ni 15. Okay? Basta ito yung nakapaloob doon sa dalawang term na hindi naman magkasunod. Yan. So, meron tayong tanong dito. Let us find the 4. Ay, sorry. This is 5. 5 arithmetic means between 10 and 40. Of course, we are going to use... A n is equal to A sub 1 plus n minus 1 d. Tingnan nyo nyo mabuti kung paano natin kukunin yung bawat, uh, bawat uh, number. Ano. Kasi madadagdagan lang natin or ma-fill out lang natin ang mga blanks na ito kapag alam natin kung ano ang common difference or kapag alam natin kung ano yung iniaad sa bawat term. Kaya naman, we have to solve for the common difference. And this is how are we going to solve for D. A N is dulo, 40, equals first term, 10, plus N. Ilan ba lahat nung terms natin? We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 7 minus 1, D. We don't know yet D. Kaya yun ang ating isosolve. Ano? And then simplifying, we have 40 is equal to 10 plus 7 minus 1, 6 times D, 60. Okay, by addition property of equality, lipat na ako dito. We have 40 minus 10 is equal to 6 D. 40 minus 10 is 30. Yan. Dividing both sides by 6, we have D is equal to 30 divided by 6, 5. Our common difference is 5. Hindi pa tapos doon. Ano? Alam na natin kung ano yung idadagdag. So, kung ang common difference ay 5, ano kasunod ni 10? Yes, 15. Kasi plus 5 ng plus 5. 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. Okay. So, nabuo na natin ang sequence. Ganun lang siya. Okay? Kung kailangan nyo pa ng example, ay mag-chat sa akin na nabibigyan ko pa kayo ng iba pang example. Now, it's your turn. Again, screenshot this part and do 
the activities for your exercise only. Ano, again, hindi ito required. Gusto ko lang ay magkaroon kayo ng additional activity para mahasa at malaman din kung talagang naintindihan ninyo ang ating lesson. Anyways, meron naman tayo examples sa inyong mga module. Okay, so if you want to do or to have additional exercises, do this one. And isend sa akin, titignan natin kung tama ang sagot ninyo. And for your graded activity, you have to answer part 2, arithmetic sequences. Yan. So, ibinigay ko rin yan sa inyo in printed form. Okay? If you have more questions, just PM me. And that's all for week 2. Let me remind you of this. Be willing to be a beginner every single morning. Ayan, lahat tayo nag-start, nag-start sa zero, nag-start lagi sa simula until we reach what we really wanted to be. Okay? Be willing to be a beginner and be willing to be a learner. So, thank you so much again and always stay safe. Bye!